All right, thank you for joining me. We're actually going to scoot this down a little bit. We're going to move that away from the top. We're going to move that, uh... Let's actually just have it at room width. If I could type divided by two, so it's... Oh, wait, wait a minute. Width divided by two. Eight pixels down from the top. It's X, then Y. X, and then Y, so... Horizontal, then vertical. Let's also create a life bar for the player. You've got four hit points. Let's create a sprite. Do this at uh, 56 pixels wide and 16 pixels tall. Why not? Got. No, let's do. Yeah, I suppose I should. Make it a little wider than that. There's 96. We can always change it later. We'll call this S underscore life bar. The image. Uh, real simple and easy. Let's make this as simple as possible. We're just going to have like uh, three just blocks. In. Made this too large because we only have four hit points. Here we go. Um, let's shorten this up by. Those are 16 a piece by 31 pixels. Let's go here. We're going to change the width of that down by 31 pixels. So 96 minus 31 is going to be 55. And we're going to scooch it to the left. Apply. Perfect. Now, let's copy and paste this so that we have four images. I'm going to hit color, uh, not color replace. I'm going to just hit the fill bucket. We're going to choose like a dark gray for this one. Gray these, gray these out. And then the next pixel, or the next uh, frame, we're going to just do one less each time. Need one more of this. So here's no health, one, two, three, four, right? Let's add a layer, bring it down below that, and let's just fill that black. So we have a black background every layer. So let's create an object. So life bar. Right is going to be bar. Add event create equals image speed equals zero image index equals where do we keep hit points in the player thing so we're gonna say we need to assign a number to this right o player dot hp whatever number o player dot hp is going to be is going to be what frame this is on and if you remember, it starts at zero and goes up through four. So if you have zero hit points, it's on frame zero. If you have one hit point, two hit points, three hit points, four, because that's what it equals. So zero, one, two, three, four. This we'd be dot. Uh, we would be dead. Let's go into the room. This is gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna add this. Uh, you know what? We need to change the. Let's change the. Uh, Top left, the origin center. See how that looks. It's gonna be right up there, squished. You know what? You no, know we can do. We can go above. We can go outside of where that is. Go up into the left by two pixels. Negative two, negative two. See how that looks. Yeah, there it is. Kind of like right up there in the corner. We need to move score, of course. 
Now, why aren't we losing life? It's because we only set the HP in the create event, and the create event only runs at the very beginning. So we need to update this. That is correct. We can actually hit copy. That step. The image index equals oplayer.hp. So every step that it is there, we'll do that. But if the player disappears, that's going to cause a problem. So we need to say if since Anytime you depend on another instance, check to see if it exists first. Even if you can't fathom that object not being in the game, go ahead and check for it. It's just a good safety precaution. So let's see how that looks now. And yeah, we'll move we'll move score out of the way. Boom, look at that. Taking damage. Oh no. Boom, you're dead. Hmm. Should be at zero. Yeah, huh. You know what? Let's do this. Else. Image dex equals zero. There you go, boom. Because if the end, if the player's not there, that means that they're dead. That is when we will go down to zero. Two, three. All right, here goes the moment of truth. Boom. No health. Here, let's move that text that's bothering me. I thought I moved. Divided by. I did actually move that to room width divided by two, but the resolution. So it is. You remember correctly I said that it's it is actually based on the viewport so it's the resolution on the draw GUI is actually based on 1920 by 1024 so I said room width divided by 2 well that's only 240 pixels in but we're looking at something that's 1920 so what's half of 1920 that is 960 I think yeah it's gonna be four times that so Let's change that draw GUI. Instead of saying room width, say 960. There we go. That's a much better looking score. Like dead center up there. We can see our health very easily. We can see. Uh, uh, our guy's getting beat up. Yeah, no, we had a score of 40. Actually, we need to turn off that, uh, we don't want you getting points for running into enemies. That's a bad thing. You don't want to reward that. So we can change that. Let's change that real quick. So, say, other, and get rid of that. So they won't have the explosion animation anymore, but we can add that. Uh, add that in right here. Add those. Copy. Put that in the collision event. You'll see it, but it'll be spawning from the player, not the bad guy. So now you won't get points for running into bad guys. Boom, C zero. You still get the explosion stuff because it's just coming from the player now. Zero score. Perfect. There we go. All right, that's it for this lesson. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next one.